Oh, goodness. Welcome back to the podcast that would like to remind you to be kind and rewind. Hashtag, Hashtag just, just saying. saying. And while you try to sneak the videotape through the little drop-off box slit, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I hear you. Also, you can watch the first oh. 40. Sean Sorry. Hear us. I don't hear you through the speak. The well, I, there's only so much I can do. <laughs> Watch the first 40 on the YouTubes. Listen where streaming now? things are streamed. You can hear the whole thing. Oh. How about now? Yes. Oh, damn. There you go. <laughs> that worked. Yeah. Ooh. I get oh, results. Shit. Oh, you did. I Ask get you results. Shall now I you're deaf. What? We are live from Wally World. Yes. Now, we're in, now where is that? In California? I think... I don't know. Oh shit! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's the second. It's her spirit friend visiting. <clears throat> it's not a spirit friend. Um. The show must go. Well, I can't get up to fix it, so it's gonna have to be how it is. They can still see us. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Gives a little ambience. Yeah, ambience. Little ambience. I'm I'm sad now. I don't have something. Blind in your freaky to tell you, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right. That that fucking light has that's the second time that's done that. We've been down here we've been down here for a little while and it it did that earlier. I think before this, he came in. Oh. I think there's too many things plugged in. And the 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 electric it's the, all me. My fault. the electricity is like we've had it. Yeah. You can't have everything. I'm very electrifying. Pick pick the few <laughs> things you want to work and then everything else won't work. All right. Funny, it made a little sound effect when I did it. Went click. I didn't even hear it. What did the light? Yeah, it no, I didn't even. I didn't, I didn't even I notice. Didn't notice it went dark. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't notice, but you know what? Oh, good night. It okay. may have been caught by the mic, so I perhaps guess. in a in a rewatch, re-listen, we can. If find you heard that. it, let us know. Comment below. I know. Comment below. They don't like to unless they win. Give us a thumbs up. Hey, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> speaking of winners, we did not. Which <laughs> we don't have any apparently. <laughs> nope. Uh, but I am sad to report that. Um, sad. Well, I'm not that sad. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I hadn't I hadn't seen Tina all this month. Oh. And then I hi, saw Tina. her the other day. Hi, Tina. And I already said hi to you. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen her. And then I saw her, and she had won like two weeks ago, and I completely forgot. I am so sorry. Yeah. She well, hits two. Well, normally what I do is I I leave them out. As a reminder, yeah. and I, I completely forgot. I was just <clears throat> so excited that I was gonna see her, and I had so much to catch up with with her with. Yeah, and it it all tanked on me. I was like, oh, as soon as she left, I was like, wait a minute, I feel, like check. I feel like I forgot something. Yeah, and then I did. You did. It's all right. I hate it's, that. It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Usually, when I forget, I when I think I forgot something, it it it's not anything. Oh, hey. pants. Yeah, no. <laughs> I misplaced my pants. I usually wear pants. Are you wearing a grocery bag? I usually. Although today. Which they charge you for now. Today was like 90 they degrees. It was pants now. optional. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, they charge you. Uh, like 10 cents. Uh, I don't know. Because, uh, well, I go to Market Basket and they keep wanting me to buy their shitty. Their shitty. Uh, Reusable, Earth bags. yeah, they're they're cloth bags, and I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to buy them because I buy various amounts of groceries each time I go. Right. And I'm like, that's true. Like I went to like the self checkout. How many bags did you use? I'm like, zero, but I used one, but I put one because the camera and shit. You know. ten, I, ten cents. I'm like, fuck. I never know how many bags I'm gonna need. One bag, damn. I still hit zero. Yeah, but there's a camera. Yeah. Like, ah, it sounds like no one chases us out the door. We need your ten cents. <laughs> Here's my ten cents. Give me my change back. <laughs> yeah, I'll still shop here. I know. I think Dollar Tree charges now too. Do they really? Like, like oh. you take a bag. I'm like, no. I just like. So thing. it's Dollar Tree plus plus bags. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a Dollar Tree. They don't care. They're making dollars as long <laughs> as they don't have to make trees out of those uh, bags out of those trees. I heard mm. they use paper bags or plastic. Uh, rephrase the question. Do you use paper bags or plastic? Uh, I prefer plastic bags. Me too. Yeah. You got handles. 
They're not as bad as the environment as people good think. With those yeah. Paper bag you can. <laughs> it takes a while. <laughs> and like, you get real tight and like. You know. I will. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I will carry 110 plastic bags. I will have them right up my arm. <laughs> Damn. Rather than I make. I do that too. Look at you. More than one trip. I do that too. I don't want to make a million trips. Me Many as I can carry. That's how it's what's happening. I don't want to hurt my back, so. I'm well, a major second. <laughs> oh, I went to the, went to the back doctor. Uh, well, I went to my my okay. back appointment this week. Yeah, how'd that go? Uh, spectacular. Nice. And he was hitting me with the, with the little <laughs> wand, <laughs> with his little wand, with and his I was Harry like Harry Potter wand. Yeah, and I was like, ow, 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 and he goes, that hurt. I'm like, <laughs> that's what I said, owl do, means. do people say ow for fun? I said, yeah, it hurts. He goes, oh, and then he's like, shouldn't. <laughs> but it does. I'm a doctor. I know it shouldn't. Yeah. Thanks, doc. Well, it's, I said, um, and then he's like, "How you been?" And I said, "Well, it's it's been really bad these past few days." I said, "Because I guess I really needed to be here." <laughs> he's like, "Well, it was the it knows." Yeah, he's like They're overdue. He's like, "Well, it was time for you to come in, so I needed the re-up." <laughs> Ridiculous. Need your fix. Yeah. I need my fix. I'm fiending. I said, I actually told him, I said, I think uh, spacing it out once a month is, is too much. I was like, I, th- I think we need to, two, two a weeks. month. Two weeks. Yeah, every weeks. every couple of weeks. And he's like, Meh, I think we should stay with the once a month. And I'm like, but I'm the one in pain. <laughs> I got my cons- consultation in two weeks. Oh, boy. August 11th. <clears throat> I don't know mm. who the doctor's not Chow. I know that. Oh, some of the other guys. I'm sorry you can't see Doctor Chow. He's he is not, he's a not part of the network. He's an absolute delight. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll see this other guy. Well, perhaps he'll be a delight, but probably not as big a delight as Doctor Chow. <clears throat> see. We shall see. <laughs> that didn't deserve a rim shot, but I don't care. So other than that, how was your week? How was my week? Uh. Let me let me see. Let what me occurred. count the ways. Let me I don't see what occurred. Yeah. Yesterday was slow as shit. Was it? Oh yeah. god, yeah. That was <clears> hot <throat> as shit too. <laughs> oh god. Ninety degrees today. Hmm. Um yeah. I just it's I've been like I said, I've been doing peasy hours. Yeah. And uh it's I said, they were, Oh, you wanna work this weekend? No. <laughs> You got Again? me. You got me last weekend. You're not getting me two weekends in a row. Damn. You can never give them enough. They cut my hours. I'm not no longer doing PZ hours. What? Yeah. You cut down. They cut me down. Oh no. I'm like 38. I'm like from like, 38 hours. From 50. I'm like, what the fuck? Wow. Wow. That's a big cut. I'm like, that's a paycheck you. deficit. I'm Ooh. like, dude, that's like a whole day. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Well, hey. Hey, I got a job. It's, it's, you, <laughs> Some people don't. I got one. So. It's better for your mental health. Yeah. It's not good to you work. You get to sleep in a little more. So, <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not good to work 60 hours. No, it's not. It's not good to work 40 hours. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Tyrone works at like 80 hour weeks. That's not healthy either. Damn. No. It's not good for your mental health. Like I am on board 100%. Where's home health? Huh? Where's home health? Mm. I'm sure like half a day every day. I'm on board. home for lunch. And just like, for yeah. like four or five hours a day and then that's it. No, you go, you want European hours. <laughs> <laughs> Tea time. Like, Massachusetts is doing this thing where it's like um, uh, a Working four-day million. work week. Nice. Um, I'll do if, that. Companies that have over X amount of employees, if they try it out, they get like a huge tax break. It's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So they're trying, <laughs> they're trying it out. So I'm, And they're like... Yeah, the results so far are pretty good. I'm like, really? Who wouldn't want a four day work week? Mm-hmm. It's the same amount of pay. You just work longer hours in those four days. Like a, a fine by me. like two hours extra. Oh no. I know, but you get three days off. Right. <clears throat> I'll take it. Sign me up. And if Monday's a holiday, you get a four day week. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> this year was great for that. All the holidays fell mm. fell on Mondays. Yeah, that they don't. They do no like. They normally will celebrate the holiday on the Monday, so it's like oh, 
which I don't like. No. I prefer uh, they they observe it on a Friday. Are there any holidays in August? No. 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 But there was. Nope. I think every month. I thought every month had like a like some sort of like. No. Mar- well, it depends. Sometimes March will have Easter. Right. But other than that, there's no holiday in March. April. No, I don't Mar- get March has got St. Patrick's Day. Well, yeah, but you don't get the day off. I know. <laughs> He's like, I know. <laughs> I know. Hi. No, it's it's on the calendar, so it must count. You still get trashed. Shit. April. I mean, I don't count any of April's holidays either because I don't get Patriots Day nor Good Friday. No, it's Bad Friday. Yeah, it isn't for me. I gotta work. <laughs> President's Day. May is Memorial Day, so that's all set. June, no holiday in June. Juneteenth. I don't get Father's Day off. It must. <laughs> Juneteenth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We get Juneteenth now. Yeah, now. I forgot about. Well, I never got it before. <laughs> now they're like, hey, you can have this day. I'll take it. Whatever you want to give me. Give me all. <laughs> give me your Aug Teeth. Send them all. <laughs> take whatever day off you want to give me. I don't care. Every day. So Jay. That's what I want. <laughs> Jay has to um, drop his car off uh, August eighth. Um, which is his birthday, coincidentally. Oh. And he's he's dropping it off. And then, because uh, I heard him making the appointment with the mechanic, and then he comes into my his office. truck or his car? No, the truck. Oh, okay. You said car. I'm like, oh. Well, I meant truck. Sorry. I was so excited. Then he, like, oh. No. So then he goes, I had to bring the truck to the mechanic on the 8th. And I said, okay. And he goes, did you put in for August 8th off? I said, no, you didn't You didn't tell me you wanted me to take your birthday off. Oh. Okay. You felt like so all I said, sad now. So I said, but the good news is I'm home anyway. Right. I said, so I guess you can parade yourself in here. <laughs> <laughs> and we can have a time. I was now gonna, what day of the week is it? I think it's a Tuesday. Yeah. I was going to take the 9th off because he has a doctor's appointment. Yeah. And I was going to go with him. But then I thought, mm, that'd be kind of shitty to take the ninth and not the eighth. And uh, I can't take both. No. So, I'll have to. Because the, the, the way you work Saturdays now. I just, <laughs> well, they wanted me to work this. I was like, no. You, you, you didn't get a strongly worded email? <laughs> <laughs> I understand why you would think that. But no, I did not. Um, it, they let it go pretty quickly. And I said no. I was like, oh, okay. Good. Be like all caps. No exclamation point. <laughs> <coughs> no wink emoji. How about, how about this emoji? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like the shrug emoji. Mm. I use that a lot. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I also like the one with the eye roll. The one that's like, oh. uh, I use that every day. <laughs> 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 so, uh, before we get. Too knee deep in this. Knee deep. Okay. I actually have. I don't often take. Um, take. Topic requests. Oh. <laughs> but yes. But I got a topic. Did someone request. phone in. No, I saw my parents Sunday. Oh, hi mom. <laughs> so my dad. Hi dad. Hi dad. Has a. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Robert. The Bob. The Bob it's has Bob. the Bob has a question for the gentleman down the table. All right, what do we got? Um, he wants to know because he was in CVS the other day. Of course he was, uh-huh. uh, and he was looking like With that long ass receipt. Quick, yeah, I know. <laughs> Quickly looking at the magazines. Which one? Just magazines. So <laughs> he wants to like, know if the gentleman down the table What's up? can guess. Who is the person on Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue this year? The cover model. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. Did we? Uh, do you know? Fuck. It wasn't Brady. It was... Uh... This is the swimsuit issue. Oh, swimsuit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's an old lady. <laughs> uh, was it... Uh... <laughs> Helen Murin. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. She's... <sighs> I can't remember now. Really? I haven't looked at the magazine section in years. It's uh, <coughs> <coughs> Faye Dunaway. I don't know. Faye Dunaway. I don't know. Did you a, just say Faye those, Dunaway? What a like old actress. Uh, 
Peyton uh, Manning. Do you know? I know who it is. <laughs> okay, well, we give up. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart, yeah. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so my dad saw the, the magazine, and he was he goes, I was afraid to look inside you were afraid. at the photos. He goes, I thought they might render me blind. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that was weird. TV just flickered. Um, and in... That's going to go off next. And I, uh, nothing be- else better f- can happen. So, um, apparently, Martha Stewart is the oldest cover model for Sports Illustrated, uh, posing for the swimsuit issue edition at the age of 81. She's 81? 81. Mick Jagger just turned 80. Yes, he did, but he's not on the swimsuit. (laughs) No, he's not. He never will be. (laughs) No, he will not. And they're still touring. Like, what the fuck? Well. Yes. (laughs) No. (laughs) I would love to see the Rolling Stones, but... Would you? Yes, I absolutely would. They have some bangers. All right. I, I, they have, like, like, I have... I don't even know how many songs I have saved from them. Yeah, But all of them. Jay only likes two songs from them. So every time, it, like, it comes up, I have to skip it. What's two songs? He likes Miss You and Bitch. <laughs> Miss you, bitch. No, those are two separate songs. I know. Um, uh, coincidentally, "Bitch" is one of my dad's favorite songs. <laughs> oh. I don't know if he likes "Miss You." It's got a nice like. Dun, 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 dun. It's got a nice, got a nice beat. You can dance to it. Nice. Get down and boogie. <laughs> Cut a rug. Down with your bad selves. Cutting rugs all over town. Cutting rugs. <laughs> Martha Stewart. Apparently so. So, she's like Snoop Dogg's best friend. She is Snoop Dogg's best friend. Oh, and then I got a text from Tina. Hi, Tina. After I think it was last week, we were talking about Martha uh, Snoop Dogg's cookbook. Yeah. Apparently, he has a, a cookbook that's out already. Oh. And there were no weed recipes in it. Oh wow. She's like, it's a regular just. <laughs> <laughs> she's just a regular cookbook. There's no weed in it, and I was oh. like. Is What's like the a barbe- point? Is it a barbecue cookbook? Like you like grilling and shit? I don't remember the nature of the cookbook. Chill and grill. <laughs> <laughs> it was him and somebody else, the, like the collaborating. Can't remember who it was. Maybe I think it was like a, like a, a, a comic or something. I have no idea. Yeah. Mm. But I'll look it up. I you know, I got called on it. She's like, he already has one out. Oh. So perhaps the second edition will have the weed Maybe. in it. <laughs> The <laughs> cannabis edition. The <laughs> cannabis edition. <laughs> there was a show. I, I, we talked about this. There was a show on Netflix that like cooked with weed, and they had like people judging the food. And they're like, "This is great. I'm high as fuck, <laughs> and I'm hungry." <laughs> my, this past Sunday, my uh, nephew was sitting there, and he goes, "I think I'm gonna make cookies." And I went, "How much weed have you had?" <laughs> and he goes, "I haven't had it." He he vapes. Yeah. So then he goes. He's, he goes, I'm going to make them from scratch. I said, well, good luck. So he was in there, and he, he you know, got it all done. Yeah, chocolate chip? And then chip? he, yeah, just chocolate chip. So he comes out, and he's like, do you want a cookie? And my dad's like, no. <laughs> and then he offered one to my mom, and she's like, no, thank you. And then he goes, Tara, I know. He looks at me. I know you want a cookie. Yo, ding-dongs, yo, ding-dongs. So I, ding was, dong, like, yo. I was like, why? I don't think so. And he goes, oh, come on, take a cookie. <laughs> He's forcing it. So I said, is there weed in it? And he goes, why would there be weed in it? And I said, because it's you. <laughs> and he goes, I wouldn't put weed in it. And I said, I think you would, just to see what would happen to me. I said, you can't do that to me. I have to drive home. And he goes... <laughs> Oh, well, here, take this to go. <laughs> then he goes, I think if you had a weed cookie, you'd still be able to drive home. <clears throat> I said, we don't know what would happen. No, you don't. It's a surprise party. <laughs> I said, but I can't spend the night here. I have to work. Hey. So his girlfriend was in the kitchen, and she goes, Tara, I promise he did not put weed in there. It's just a cookie. I said, I, if I get high, I'm going to kill all now, of you. Now, the brownies, though, they have weed. I know. <laughs> Don't touch the, the 
the, I had a whole the gummies. Joke. Yeah. The gummies. That week. Don't touch the gummies. My mom <laughs> offered me a gummy last week. Did she? I said something. And she goes, you want one of my gummies? I went, no, I don't want one of your gummies. <laughs> got a headache. It's a gummy. Uh, that yeah. might have been it, actually. I had, I, I had a headache nonstop last week. Damn. Here, take it and uh, save it for before the show. Yeah. Then you have it. My goodness. Gummy bears. Mm. <laughs> Bouncing here and there and everywhere. It's really like they, they, there's regular bears and they drink this stuff. They're like, we got powers now. Wee! But all they can do is fucking bounce. <laughs> that's not a superpower. That's gravity. <laughs> like Tigger. <clears throat> yeah. Bouncing's what Tiggers do best. <laughs> We need it's like Popeye. Yeah. Like I'm a piece of shit, but like give me, give me some spinach, and I'm a strong ass mother. <laughs> yeah, drop me off the roof. I guarantee I bounce when I hit the ground. Then I'll be dead, but <laughs> I'll have bounced. One bounce, then. <laughs> we gotta run and stop. Maybe we can get two bounces. <laughs> boing, be like boing, a pebble boing. on a lake. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, waiting for that light to turn back on again. <laughs> I know. So I went deep sea fishing. Oh, dear. I, did. Yeah. I caught four fish this time. Oh. Last time I only caught three, so I'm up in my game. Explain how. <laughs> well, <laughs> cast it out, and then you reel back. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Great weather. I'm glad I wasn't drinking my drink. We, uh, uh, we saw uh, do- dolphins. Yeah. Or porpoises, whatever they're called. What's the purpose of a what's the purpose of a porpoise? I don't know. This it's a type of dolphin. I don't know. We saw, <laughs> we saw whales. <laughs> yeah. Um one of the guys caught a baby shark. Do 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 baby <laughs> yeah, shark do do. So, it was a good time. I was interested because Joe sent me a photo and there was a lot of blood on the bottom <laughs> yeah, of the boat. It's still and I in went, my shoe. Ew, really? <laughs> it's dry. Oh <laughs> what? Fish bleed. Apparently so. <laughs> Before he caught the and fish, they, taste, they murdered somebody. And they taste good. Well, I thought somebody got a shark, and then they decided to fuck around and find out. Nope. And then the that's, shark that's, bit their fun- fingers off. That's the fish bleeding. I caught two sea bass, a bluefish, and a, a scup. Nice. A mm-hmm. what? A scup. A it's scup. Big. It's called a scup. I don't know. It was a fish. But like, <laughs> only one was big enough to keep. It was a bluefish, so I took that home. Okay. Cooked it up. It was good. Had it last night. It's good. With lemon? With, uh, <laughs> with rice. <laughs> fried it's with fried. a fork, Tara. Uh, with weed. <laughs> yeah. in the good time. Book. Every, everybody caught something. It was a good time. Very nice. Can't wait to go next year. Fun. No issues. Well, that's good. You, so you didn't see any? Uh, I didn't see any like shark sharks. Any, any shark fins swimming? Like, no, I said. Like, nah, 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 you must smell that blood. The that whale was, was pretty close to the boat. Scared the crap out of somebody. Like, ah! Well, I'm scared of anything that can capsize me. Yeah. So. If a whale gets pissed, knock you out. Yeah. So yeah, deep sea fishing. Okay. I recommend it. I. Unless you get seasick, then obviously you don't go. Seasick. Unless you don't like blood on your shoes. <laughs> it washes off. Apparently not. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. What else I got? I don't know. So the other day, working on a car, uh-huh. I was putting air in a tire, and the valve cap was a green penis. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> just on one tire, though. The rest of the tires were regular cabs. Just on one tire was a... <laughs> oh, my gosh. When you sent me that picture at yeah, first, I, like, I couldn't tell what the hell it was. It was a... Is that a is that like a prank somebody I think did? So. Oh, is this like a TikTok trend? Probably. Like, Let's make the guys deal d- with dick stems. D- <laughs> dick stems. <laughs> yes, dick stems. Okay. All right. Uh, Elon Musk. He changed the Twitter name to the letter X. <coughs> Excuse me, and but that's, and that's it, just the letter X. But it, it nothing that I have seen has reflected that change yet. I don't know. Because I'm Jeez. I'm on Twitter. Yeah. And I still have the little bird. Maybe it hasn't. I don't know. Maybe got an update. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he should just leave things alone. He should. 
let's see. <coughs> Barbie. Excuse me. The Barbie movie made $155 million opening weekend, wow. while the Oppenheimer movie made $80 million. I was just about to ask if the if that's good for the Barbie movie, but apparently it's better than Oppenheimer, so. I guess so. I, um, I haven't seen it, so. I wouldn't watch I, either of those. Really? Yeah, they just don't seem like anything that would interest me. Let's see what else. Hulk Hogan. <clears throat> yeah. Is, is now I, engaged. Yeah, he got engaged at somebody's wedding. Oh, did he? Yeah, which is like. Showing him how to take that Spock out of someone else's thing, huh? Yeah, I'm like, that's the tackiest fucking thing you can do. You're I a, think. You're a dick. <laughs> yeah. He should have one of those caps on his, on his vehicle. Dick stem. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> All right. I sent you this story, but I'm going to read it out. Uh, it's Beetlejuice. So for those of you who don't know, Didn't. Beetlejuice, the sequel to Beetlejuice, is being filmed currently in, New, in Vermont. Woo! <laughs> okay. Principal, t- Principal Victoria is well underway on Beetlejuice 2, and the Tim Burton feature may have hit its first major roadblock. Friday, the, the Vermont State Police shared a tweet revealing some props from the set of the highly anticipated follow-up had been stolen. In addition to a hefty 150-pound statue, the thieves allegedly stole a lamppost complete with pumpkin decoration. <coughs> he tried saying the name of the stolen items three times, but they didn't come back. <coughs> We're investigating uh, the theft of this 150-pound pound sculpture from the Beetlejuice 2 set in East Cor- Corinth. I don't know if I saw that. I said that right. Along with a lamppost, top of the pumpkin decoration, the state police tweeted, call this number for any information. Why would you steal from a movie set? How do you steal something heavy and, like, and big it, like that? I mean, you're going to try to sell it or like you're going to get caught? Do you remember the statue that I think it was in... First one, yeah. It was in the first one, and it had these, like, things that came out, and then it, it kind of went on its side and was, like, walking like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the statue they stole. That's that big ass That thing. weighs that much? Apparently. The real one? <laughs> Apparently so. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you right? <laughs> Crap on a cracker. It's turning as red as a drink. I got a drink. All right. I wasn't coughing before I came down here. I think there's something down here. My fault. When I was turning the <laughs> light off. <laughs> Let's see. Apparently. Apparently. They had that happen, right. and there was another theft. So now the police are doing, they're like guarding the set. They should be. They should have been doing that in the beginning. Yeah. <clears throat> they should have. Mm, there it is. 2023, not 88. <laughs> People, yeah. People these days will sneak on any set and steal anything now. I guess. So the person that stole that thing, what are they gonna do? Like keep it in their bedroom and gag over it and <laughs> gag over it. <laughs> Honestly, it's like Eventually it's gonna be on eBay for auction for a hundred thousand. Yeah, and then they'll get busted for stolen merchandise. Good. Yes, they will. Arrested. Well, a lot of people these days are freaking dumb. They won't realize yeah, they that. <laughs> they'll try to sell it. And then they'll realize, oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Do you remember ALF? Huh? I, I do, and I know where this is going. All right. For those of you who don't know, ALF was a TV sitcom back in the 80s about an alien that landed on Earth. And he's trying to get back home, so he stays with a family in suburbia. From Planet Melmac. Yeah, his real name was Gordon Shumway. Hmm. Huh. Ryan Reynolds' maximum effort is bringing back Alf, kind of. The beloved puppet <coughs> comedian will be starring in a series of maximum moments on, Rhino, on Reynolds' maximum effort channel, a free and, and ad-supported channel that can access through serv- services like Tubi, Fubu, and Amazon Freebie. Maximum effort, which airs reruns of shows like Kids in the Hall, great show, has also acquired the rights of three air old episodes of Alf, the 1980s sitcom about an alien stranded on Earth and living in a secret in a suburban family. Maximum Effort worked with ALF creator Paul Fusco and Shout Studios, the nostalgia-fueled home entertainment company, last 
Lats currently holds the distribution rights to the show. So that's coming back. You serious, Clark? No, George. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But, like, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, ah. <laughs> yeah I, I heard that too. And I'm like, <clears throat> that's kind of an odd thing to want to bring back. I'd rather him work on the Clue movie instead. I'd rather he not. <laughs> <laughs> this is this sounds a little crazier. He's busy uh, doing uh, Deadpool well, three. Well, with the strike, nobody's doing nothing. True. True. So, do you like Ninja Turtles? The nineteen ninety movie. Um. Do you, do you like Xbox? The Teenage Mutant kind. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Xbox is releasing a Ninja Turtle themed controller that Ooh. is pizza scented. Smells like a pizza. I don't know how long the smell lasts, <laughs> but the first like, <laughs> like Ninja Turtles and pizza. Xbox first 15 and you minutes, Xbox. you can open it up. Xbox. Well, even the strawberry shortcake dolls would smell for quite a while. True. Granted, that's not a controller that you. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say that the controller is gonna be in the pizza. shape of a turtle shell. <laughs> that would be kind of cumbersome to hold <laughs> while you're trying a game. Do you like Skittles? Yummy! Uh, who doesn't, Joe? Do you like mustard? <laughs> no. I Actually, I do not. Okay. Ah, Skittles okay. don't generally strive to be this tangy, but in anticipation <laughs> of National Mustard Day on August 5th, the famous American candy has taken a risk. French's has partnered with Skittles to give mustard lovers all over the country a new French's mustard Skittles flavor and a chance to win a free fun-sized packet through the three three pop-ups and online sweepstakes while supplies last. So you, mustard flavored Skittles are coming. Mm. It's fucking gross. So who's the idiots that come up with these? Oh, it's National Mustard Day. National Kiss My Ass Day. National Hot Dog mm. Day. National Donut Day. Not a finger. <laughs> <laughs> like who's coming up with this shit? And then... I I am usually all for brands <clears throat> expanding. And trying different things. M&M's is famous for that. They don't fucking put anything with an M&M. Right. I'm surprised they didn't jump on this shit, actually. <laughs> they probably did. They're like, nah, we got enough going on. It's too crazy even for us. But I don't like mustard. I like honey, I like honey mustard. Oh, God. I don't like any of it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Even if they did, um, I don't think it's gonna sell. People are like, even if they did like a mayonnaise flavored one, that would be disgusting. That's too much mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, I know. Ketchup, ketchup skittles. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's throw a hot dog flavor and then cheeseburger flavored it's, in there too. Why not? It's National Ketchup Day. Let's get some ketchup flavored M and M's. In the in Canada, when they they have they have chips and mm. they're called fully dressed. Fully and that dressed. means fully dressed. So I was naked. Oh. And that means Suit and tie? they taste like ketchup. <laughs> Rack tie. Really? And it's disgusting. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey. I don't make the news. <laughs> just report it. I just report it. <laughs> just report it. Mm, a couple more things here. Do you like documentaries? Yeah. I love a good documentary. Okay. Well, Netflix is releasing a documentary <laughs> about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard uh, oh, Jesus. case. Really? Like, we already watched this. We know how it ends. I didn't watch it. Why? I don't know. I didn't watch it because I don't like either of them. No. No. I didn't watch it because... Sounds like a regular wacko. A real son, son of a bitch. <laughs> That's right. <coughs> I know I know. she's in the new Aquaman, too. Amber Heard. I thought they cut her out. Nope, they put her back in. I saw the I saw the trailer for it. She's in it. I thought she was out. Nope, they pulled her back in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. They pulled her in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, so all right. right. They pulled her in like Joe. <laughs> I got it. I got one. Fish on. <laughs> There's a lot of that. Yeah. Fish Fish on. It was he running scan. First he swims and then he jumps. <laughs> First he swims and then he jumps. All right, last thing. 
Boston <laughs> Bruins Patrice Bergeron announced his retirement after 19 years with the Bruins. Patrice Bergeron. Is He's that... a player? Yes, he is. Jesus. No more. He's retiring. <laughs> 20 years. Yeah. That's a bit much. <clears throat> that is. Do you have... Yes. Go fish. Somebody in your life, and it doesn't doesn't matter who. That you want to kill him? Yes. No. <laughs> that you are their tester. Tester? Tester. Of, like, food? Allow me to explain. <laughs> All right. Explain how. In my household, Jay can't smell. He has no sense of smell. Oh, okay. So oftentimes, he will throw food in front of my face and go, smell that. Does it smell right to you? Is that how it's supposed to smell? <laughs> I am his tester. Now, the other day, he came up to me. So with, is, is, when you're tasting, it must be weird, different with taste. He can taste perfectly fine. He yeah, just but when you're smell. tasting the smell, it's like it's... I know they should be connected. Coincide. I know, but he can taste just fine. Okay. So he says... Okay. So he came up to me with a bag of shredded cheese, and he goes, uh, I need you to smell this. And I was like... Why? Well, because I don't know if it smells weird. <laughs> and I said, yeah, but it's cheese. To me, cheese always stinks. I hate the smell of cheese. Like, uh, Parmesan cheese, all of it. Yeah. All smells like dirty feet. <laughs> I'm like like Who's cooking the feet? They're done. I know. <laughs> so I didn't want to smell it. And he goes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so I smelled it, and I was like, it smells like cheese to me. All cheese smells horrible. All so right. he goes, okay. I mean, that was good enough. So he went He, he went back into the kitchen. Did he? <clears throat> he did. And he, what I found out what he was making was uh, cheese fries. He was making just uh, like the, uh, the frozen. Dressed. Yeah, fully dressed. <laughs> he was making uh, just Nathan, the Nathan frozen fries, which are the best frozen fries. Uh, and um, according to you? Putting... Um, just shredded cheese on it and popped it in the oven and oh boy wasn't that going to be fun so he throws it on a plate and he's sets it down in the living room he's like you you know we'll have some cheese fries and then watch whatever it was we were going to watch so I was like okay so I took one and after like two bites I was like I question this cheese and he goes what do you mean you smelled it <laughs> Smell and, and taste said, are two different things I said I am aware that I smelled it And it smelled like cheese I was like however <laughs> This tastes like shit <laughs> And he goes hmm okay. He goes so is it is it just, Does it taste bad And I said it doesn't taste right <laughs> Exactly <laughs> I said it, just, it doesn't taste right I'm not comfortable So I stopped eating oh. And what he did was Scrape the cheese off the rest of the fries to try to eat them. And I said, and it, well, I mean, he, he continued with a couple. Yeah. And I looked at him and I said, you are risking food poisoning if you eat any more of that shit. And he goes, you think so? It's worth the risk. Yeah. Because they're Nathan's. <laughs> they're the best. They are the best. <laughs> and he goes, okay, well, I'm going to scrape the cheese off the rest. And I said, I don't know. I'd be afraid of cheese residual. <laughs> residual cheese just yeah. fucking up me shit. I said, fine, if that's what you want to do. It's soaked into the bread. No. Oh, no. So he finished his, he finished up. Yeah. Then we ended up throwing his some away. His cheese fries. We ended up having to throw some away. And then he was like, I don't know. He said, you smelled it. You said it was fine. I said, I said it smelled like cheese. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Yeah. <laughs> you feel queasy? So, questionable cheese fries. We had that over the weekend. All right. I know. What about you, Sean? Same old shit. Nah. <laughs> Nothing new happens to me. Nothing? Nope. Okay. How's that shelf? What? The red one? Yeah, it's good. Right. You already filled it up? Oh, yeah. That, that night that um, you helped me bring it in. <clears throat> <clears throat> Full. It's full to the brim. I even got Blu-rays on top of it. Damn, mm -hmm. that's a lot. I use the top shelf for all Blu-rays, and I still got more of them, which are on on the very top. Hmm. Hmm. I see they uh, leveled the uh, Brockton Fairgrounds. 
Oh, did they? It's a parking lot now. No more grandstands. The buildings are gone. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on there. They were using it as like a truck driver uh, oh, oh. training thing. Mm -hmm. Get your CDL. Yeah. New England Truck the Trailer Training School? Probably. Prior to that, they used it for police training. Ah. <laughs> and then it was a fairground. Yeah. Did you ever go to the Project Fair? I did. Did you? A long time ago. Well, yeah, because it's been gone a long time. Yeah. It was all right. I mean, <coughs> it's the same as the uh, Marshall mm. Fairgrounds, just a different location. Mm. I mean, maybe. It's less scary. Less scary? <laughs> <laughs> Which one's less scary? Marshfield. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I've only been to the Marshfield Fair once. They had a festival there a couple, uh, a couple weeks ago. Levitate at the Marshall Fairgrounds. I don't know what that is. It's a, kind of like a... I don't want to say Woodstock, but it's like it's a it's music festival. It's like three days long. And they have like people that you've never heard of. <sighs> but like, but they're big <laughs> in, in that community, apparently. People you've never heard of, but they're famous. <laughs> Brandy Carlisle was like the was the headliner. Jesus Christ! You know her? <laughs> Is wasn't she? Uh... That's that's Belinda Carlisle. Oh, they got Belinda Carlisle. <laughs> from the Bangles, no. I don't think she was in the Bangles. Brandy she Carlisle. In the Go Go's. Go Go's, one of them too. <laughs> Bangles, Go Go's. <laughs> well, they are very different bands. Yeah. One wants a vacation. <laughs> the other wants you to walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> that's right. They all yeah. want different things. I was like, I never even heard of Levitate. Yeah, I've, this is, I've, I don't. Like, I guess a bunch of like local bands and like no name people are like, come see us. And a Carlisle. <laughs> and at the Marshfield Fairgrounds. Wow. I guess they have it every year. Levitate. With a, with a festival name like Levitate, I really wanted it to be all magicians. <laughs> like Chris Angel. Be like, oh. Mind freak. <laughs> like Houdini shit. Yeah. And like, oh, and then he escaped. And then he left. Like the Kazam, the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go see Penn and Tell, though. Um, you got to go all the way to Vegas for that. They don't. I thought they play. They tour. Oh, they do? They, yeah. They go to like, like Mohegan Sun. Not or so. often, but they do tour. No. Um, <clears throat> what was the other one? Right now. They were just in New York. What's the casino there? Are you thinking of Foxwoods? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Penn and Teller. Uh, the last time they were in Boston, the well, last time they came to Massachusetts, I think they were in Boston at the Orpheum Theater, I think. Really? Yeah. They put on a good show. They do. They they sure do, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Well, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you, did you have to? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why the... That's the second time the screen is blanked. Damn. I know. All right. There's still nothing I can do about it. We're that, still here. That's all signal to uh, end the video. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> mm. You guys are on long enough. Let's go. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. So, we did not have a winner last we week. We did not have a winner. So does At that all. mean this is for that's two? two. We The movie was Groundhog Day. How could nobody get <laughs> Groundhog Day? I don't know. You lose! Good day, sir! <laughs> so it's worth two gift cards. You comment on the video. If you're first and you're correct, you win. Are you ready? I'm ready, sir. Kids, what do you say when you meet a nice man? Are you my daddy? <laughs> <laughs> comment below. First of all, I, I, I enjoyed the voiceover. You like that? <laughs> my rendition of a little kid. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Uh, before I send it down the table, here's your fortune cookie of the week. Be careful who you trust. Salt and sugar look exactly the same. Oh, that's <laughs> Have true. a great weekend. Rest in peace, Sinead O'Connor. Oh. Have a good everything.